come up. Windy, cold. A little warm. Wool is the bomb. Love it. Wearing uh, some old, I think it's army issue wool pants. We've got a double wool shirt. Not sure of the material of the t-shirt, but it, uh, it's like a cold heat Under Armour, I think, but uh, doesn't matter. I, my body was warm. My head was a little cold with that wind blowing in all night, but just heated up my insoles, put them back in my boots. They're a little damp, but uh, until I have a good warm fire, I don't have uh, means to dry them out. So tea's, uh, tea's almost ready. I'm gonna have a tea and then pack up my kit. And uh, call it a night. Successful one at that. It was good. Wow. <clears throat> well, that was something I didn't really bank on is the uh, an Eastern facing shelter opening uh i can't even see the camera screen right now the sun feels so good it was supposed to be cloudy today but i guess with all that wind it blew over that sun's just beating in and uh <clears throat> i'm just soaking up that radiation it feels really good uh, it's really taking the chill off without the need of a fire i didn't want to f start a fire this morning just for the simple fact that uh you know, <clears throat> even though we're gonna we're gonna be leaving soon, and I would hate to have uh, uh, you know any word that the that the fire sparked up and caught the field on fire uh, unknown to me. So <clears throat> we kept it safe, kept it simple. We did want to do a a fire pit and uh, showcase some of those pieces, but may not uh, be in the cards today. We will do some uh, fire lighting here shortly just to do some demonstrations uh, but just uh, quick and small just to show that i i know how to do it and uh during that time it'll give the sun a chance to dry off our tarp a little bit right now it's covered with ice crystals and uh so and a little bit of frost so it's nice night is over and uh I, i'm uh ready for uh the day's day's events day's challenge normally you'd be worried about food and water but uh i'll be worrying about packing this all down and, and heading out this was just a overnight in the woods put some of the skills to the test and share with you some of my uh off the grid knowledge okay we'll uh gotta pack up well, I'm going to just do a quick fire demonstration, but uh, with that I need two hands. I've been shooting this whole video with my, just my selfie stick. So, uh, uh, in order for this to work, I need this selfie stick turned into a, uh, kind of a tripod. So I'm going to cut a length and just lash it to my selfie stick and turn it into a, a solo leg tripod and stick it in the ground so I'm able to videotape all the fire lighting. Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of the things I carry when I'm um, kind of camping, walking through the woods. Again, the wood serves as the hardware store, grocery store, and uh, you know, obviously supermarket, all those things. I carry some Ziploc bags all the time, and when I'm walking by, birch trees, cedar bark, milkweed pods, cattails. Anything that's dry and tinder, I always collect and put aside. Something else that I've done is, <clears throat> being a teacher, every time the pencil shaving, pencil sharpener needs emptying, I grab some of that. And that almost serves as, as instant, instant tinder in its own right. Works really well. <clears throat> so flint and steel. Okay. Very hard to see the sparks in the daylight. There's a couple. It's 
hard to direct the sparts. Anytime I use a plate and steel, my go-to is always charred cloth. Strikers, we're fairly familiar with the, the use of a striker. One of the knives that I've been carrying lately is my Moira Fire Steel. Light my fire by Mora. And it has a nice spine on the back to strike for your ferrule rod. But also in the heel of the knife, it also has a built in ferrule rod too. So I'm not without um, certainly fire lighting abilities. Now, depending on this tinder, this is a combo ferrule rod where it has both the uh, magnesium strip and the There we go. So again, pencil shavings. Not only that, when the kids watch, uh, they sharpen their crayons, their uh, pencil crayons, you have that wax component in here too. Works really well, obviously super light to carry. So we're gonna just put that out for a moment. I wanna show you something else. Not my idea, but off the internet, I have found an idea for waterproofing tinder inside a common drinking straw. We open that straw up you'll see that inside I have cut off the tips of cotton q-tips with the cardboard shaft and coated it with some Vaseline just some petroleum jelly so we fluff that up Make sure this one's out of our way now we fluff that up and again, if you want to use the fire steel, man, that light's awesome. And the cardboard inside really lends itself well to starting and holding that, that flame. And there from there, obviously you'd have your, the rest of your, your fire ready. But these are a great way to uh, waterproof and carry these tinder packets. You could always probably put one of those inside your, <clears throat> when you're making a survival bracelet. This one has a compass, ferro rod, whistle, and the striker, which is very sharp. I've had to cover it off with tape. But you could interweave that right into your band of your ferro rod to have an emergency. the plastic would probably light too and keep the fire going but all right so that's a little bit of fire lighting possibilities well that's it 24 hour overnight here over heading back to the truck I'm sure my aunt will be happy that I made it out safe what would I do differently? Well, I would have loved to get a fire started. Starting a fire is not a problem. It's just the concern of the rest of this field going up in smoke. Not a good idea. And with this wind, it'd be pretty hard to control some of the sparks and embers blowing around. Aside from that, didn't want to set a trap last night for the simple, simple uh, reason I didn't want to have to deal with any cock critters at 3 in the morning. Certainly if it was near my tent. I knew I didn't have much time this morning to, to do any field dressing and cooking and working on them. So 
But I guess that's what my other YouTube channels are for. Perhaps not my YouTube channels, but my other other videos. So all geared up, packed up, and back to the truck we go. Yeah, just to say I did. Scratch it off the list of things to do. Let's get off the truck. Well, it's a quarter to nine the next day. We're gonna solo, solo camp out is packed up for another time. And walking back to the truck now, I'm sure my aunt and family will be happy to hear that I weathered the night. Quite comfortable for the most part. The wind is really bone chilly right now. But uh, I was hoping it was going to let up during the night, but it never really did. We did see some pre precipitation. But all in all, it's good. I think I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish. Quick shelter. This is only a good, good sign of things to come. Looking forward to the, the summertime. The one advantage right this time of year, other than the cold, is the disadvantage. The, the advantage is there are no bugs. So that's always a bonus. So hopefully you learned something today. If you liked the video, thumbs up, subscribe. Feel free to leave me comments. I'm new to, new to all this YouTube stuff. So if you have any advice or pointers, I'm all ears. Thanks again. Enjoy the outdoors. Hey guys, well, thanks for joining me. This was a great 24 hour outdoor project. This is long overdue, and this was certainly on my, my bucket list for this summer. Now, it's not summer yet, it's just April. We had snow last night, mixing with the freezing rain. Wind never stopped, but uh, I was bundled up warm. And, uh, you know, I wanted to showcase some of those kind of just bushcraft and survival skills and just good practices while you're in the outdoors. Uh, I didn't light a fire today, you know, last night because of the conditions. Uh, I did bring my stove, thinking that might have been the case, and it, it actually was. So. We just used the uh, my uh, homemade firebox and um, a sterno stove, a sterno fuel source. But uh, overall, I, I just wanted to showcase some of the some of the skills and attributes that I have, uh, some of that that knowledge that I've learned over the years, and uh, just demonstrate it in a quick quick overnight. And uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. So hopefully, pick something up. If you did like the video subscribe or thumbs up and offer any comments you like again I'm new to this YouTube stuff so uh, it's taken me a little while to get on to this whole video is shot on my phone with a selfie stick and uh, hopefully uh, in the near future will become a little more prepared with maybe a GoPro and, and uh, a better camera certainly one with a tripod so until next time enjoy the outdoors this is Jeff Allen off the gridiron take care